What's up guys, Mike the Tech here. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick tutorial in Game Salad. Um, this one I want to focus on movement. Uh, it's, this is a new program I've been using um, recently with my game design and integration class. Uh, it's kind of a transition from, from pure drag and drop programming, um, which Game Salad supports in an educational context, to Game Maker, which is drag and drop and code. And then moving on to um, other full-on engines like Unreal or Unity. So um, this is a great starting point for pretty much anyone because it's a full, full-on editor. You can make any, pretty much any kind of 2D game in this um, to to an extent. Um, it, it's a very powerful editor. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic movement in it today. And I hope you guys enjoy, and um, hopefully I can turn this into, an, into a playlist and um, cover some other topics as well as I go along with my class. So um, I went ahead and started a new project. We're going to do it again. New project. Don't save. And let's call this movement. And we're going to choose... This is basically a resolution. It gives you these... Um, naming choices just so it's easier to know what you're working with but um, it's basically just choosing the resolution let's choose iPhone 5 landscape okay we'll create a project just so it's easy to see because an iPad is giant and sometimes it takes more of the screen and whatever so um, first thing we're gonna do is go into our media and add in um, just some sort of player character. So let's find some free stuff here. Kenny.nl has some free space shooter graphics. So we'll go to their PNGs. Portable network graphics. And let's choose this one's pretty cool. We'll open that. Great. So now we can create an actor. An actor basically Everything in your game is an actor. The walls an actor. The fl the players an actor. The enemies are actors. Coins are actors. Everything's an actor. That's just a container essentially, or an object container that lets us um, hold all of our code and scripts and everything, and also the position of what is going to be on there. So um, we'll create an actor, and let's call this player one, or just player, player one. And um, when we double click on it, we'll notice that it comes up below here in the actor scene. Let's go ahead and maximize this. Uh, so you can see the whole workspace better. Uh, let's go ahead and add an image. Let's choose our player ship. Now this is 99 by 75. So um, we can go into size. And that's probably okay. Great. So now we have our, our player actor. Let's drag him into the scene. Okay. Now he's obviously way too large. Um, we can go in and um, open the player up and change his size to something more manageable in the actor if we wanted to. But because we're just working with movement right now and not a full game, I'll leave it large so you can see it. So when we hit play, nothing happens. We can move the arrows, move the keys, nothing happens. But our player is in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise this up, our backstage, and make some room so that we can create some rules. And these are going to be movement rules. So um, actually, let's keep things organized. Let's create a group first and call this movement. Perfect. Now, let's create a rule. Let's call this move up. All right. Let's put this inside our group. So rules are basically if-then statements. It's saying if this happens, then do this, or else do this. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say when all the following are happening, a key is pressed, we're going to move up. So um, to find out if a key is pressed, we're just going to scroll down our behaviors tab in the library and look for our key condition. Here it is. A conditional statement that makes the triggering of behaviors dependent on a key press. That's what we want. So we'll drag that in. 
and we can use the up arrow if we want or we can use the W key for more standard WSAD controls. Um, I prefer WSAD because whether it's on a controller or on a keyboard or whatever you're working on, movement is generally handled with the left hand and actions are handled with the right hand. So I like WSAD so that my left hand can handle movements. So um, moving up, we're going to use W. And um, try not to get confused with direction in terms of when the key press W is down because that means when the key is down. When the key is up, no one's pressing it. When it's down, you're pressing it. So that's what that means. It's not the actual direction. So when the key press, when the key W is pressed, do this. So what do we want it to do? We want it to move. So let's scroll down to move. And I found it. And move persistent. Specify movement in a particular angle relative to the actor or to the scene. So let's drag move into the do section. Great. And um, we have to choose the angle of the direction to move in. So angle meaning 360 degrees, full circle. Um, the thing to know about uh, computers is instead of 1 to 360, it's actually 0 to 359 because computers start counting at 0. And there's still only 360 degrees total, so it has to be 359 total um, since 0 counts as 1. So we're going to move in a direction and we're going to move up. So if we don't know that 90 degrees is up, we can actually drag this little circle next to it and see what degree the direction is. So if I drag it up, we know it's around 90, so we could clean that up and write 90. So um, now we have when we press W, it moves up 90. And let's test stuff because testing is great. Always test before you move on, just to make sure stuff works. And when I press W, it moves up goes right off the screen. I press S and it doesn't come back, so he's just gone forever, but he works, he goes up. So um, let's minimize that, or at least the move up rule. And um, we'll go ahead and create another rule. And we'll put this in our movements as well. And say this time, and instead of dragging it in, let's actually use um, this feature here. Uh, type or drag in a condition. This is only available on Windows, not on Mac. But when we type in a condition like key, it just pops up. And we can say when we press S this time, we can move. And then we're going to scroll down to 270. And that's good. We're going to name this one move down. And we can do the same thing for left and right. So another rule, drag it into movements, press the key, left is A, move, and let's choose 180, almost had it perfect, 180, and call this rule move left and finally just one left one more direction let's add another rule we'll drag it into our movements we'll say when we hit the key d for right we want to move to the right and again we don't do 360 degrees so it actually starts at zero to the right so um, this is perfect right here move at zero and we left all the speeds um, at 300. We could change those later based on how quickly it moves through our levels. We can adjust that. Um, so move right. So let's go ahead and minimize our movement section and give it a try. Let's hit play. When I hit W, he goes up, S down, A left, and D right. So this is a nice start to a kind of a space shooter, top down shooter. Um, yeah, it's not too complicated. Pretty, pretty interesting. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, maybe next time I'll, I'll either expand upon this game in a playlist or um, go over some different types of movement methods like platformers or um, things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer. And hopefully I'll have more game solid tutorials for you in the future. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.